I just love theatre. I always have loved theatre, right from being young. When that was first advertised, we were looking for stewards or volunteers for the Hall for Cornwall. I was in there like a flash. <laughs> you do find there's a different atmosphere between volunteers and paid workers. There really is, because volunteers are doing it for the love of it. I was just sort of enveloped by this theatrical feeling, you know. I, I just loved it. And it really was taking tickets at the door, pointing them in the right direction, where they were sitting. If there was a problem, we'd deal with that. We were trained on fire training and emergency training. When we used to get the groups come in, and they'd come out afterwards, and we always got to meet them. And some of them were lovely, absolutely lovely. And the Fortunes and Marty Wilde and Joe Brown. And I remember being a fan of when I was young. I mean, they were great. You know, people collect stamps. I collect theatre programmes. <laughs> I was there on the first night of it opening at the gala concert, and I was there on the last night. I thought, I've been here all that way through. I'm not going to miss out on either of those two. There are certain shows that I've seen that I've thought, oh, I feel so privileged to have seen it. One was Lonnie Donegan, and he had the audience right in the palm of his hands from the moment he started, and he died six weeks later. So I always feel privileged that I saw that. I was very fond of the ice skating. The ice was brought up from the uh, fish market down at Newlyn. It was spread on this false stage and it was kept watered the whole time and frozen. There was a huge generator out by the stage door which was going for 24 hours a day. And then at the end of the show, all the ice would be scraped off the stage and put into the gutters outside and also transported over to the back of Staples in their car park there. That was brilliant. I had my leg get amputated 10 years ago and the hall were brilliant because I didn't know how I was going to cope with it. They saw me going all through it with the pain and everything and then after I'd had it done I was off for a year. I still used to go in to see the shows and then when I said I'd like to come back I spoke to the then front of house manager and he said look I'm happy for you to come back. If you feel you can cope with it that's fine. If you feel you can't cope with it let me know. It meant the world. I was happy to volunteer there because I wanted to see the theatre survive. It's an important, oh, it's such an important asset to Truro, I think. And while it's been closed, the amount of people that have said to me, oh, gosh, we do miss it. In fact, we all said when it closed down, it was like losing a family unit. A lot of us knew everybody. You know, we knew the crew. They used to bring the babies in and we used to have parties. And now it'd be great when it's open again.